It's time for the Jim and Terry Show. sure your sins will find you out and someone who becomes a stalker scary sucker like me is that song sucker like me finding yourself the victim of someone who is a player in life player in schemes and dreams and maybe things get a little hot and heated and maybe someone is in for a fall all of those things are sort of wrapped up in today's podcast Things like being deceived, being misled, misrepresented. A theme started in the previous podcast. This time we're going to start with the Canadian uh, Conservative Party of Canada, CPC, and some of the details that makes me a little suspect. From the days of Harper, who fired a number of scientists working for Environment Canada, uh, because they were finding data that Harper and his government didn't want to promote regarding, well, let's just start with climate change. Why not? Yeah, when you're forbidding scientists from publishing data that disagrees with your government's stated position on is global warming a thing? Are CO2 levels uh, human uh, sourced through car emissions? Should we be moving towards a more climate-friendly social policy, political party, economic policy. Should we move in that direction? If you don't want to do that, you are a conservative. If you say everything's fine, stick your head in the sand and ignore data, that's up to you. There is a place for you, and it's in the Conservative Party of Canada, among other places. It's in the GOP in America, and there is a lot of collusion between parties that lean to the right and climate science denialism. Why am I on this? Well, I watched a Jordan Peterson little interaction with Joe Rogan, and we talked, or they talked, about climate change. And right out of the gate, Peterson is denying that there's such a thing as uh, climate. I think he said it was the word climate that he denies, because climate, he says, is everything. And unless you've got everything in your modeling for climate change, you cannot claim to predict and forecast what will be. And from that slippery slope, he takes a banana peel dive down the climate denial rabbit hole of pseudoscience. Remember Jordan Peterson? He's got a lot of interesting things to say. Some I might even say I agree with. He's very articulate and a good voice for white males. I'm not sure beyond that that he has something of relevance to today's discussion, except that maybe he does give a voice to white males under 40, maybe single white males, maybe incel types, involuntary celibates, maybe the grieved white people uh, he's a spokesperson for. I'm not sure, but he sure is angry and he lets it out every once in a while and you see what he's really got in terms of substance and as i like to say evidence based fact he makes a lot of assertions speaks a lot of good words and he does that fact talking thing that everybody seems to do and they like to enjoy talking fast and 
Um, I don't know. Dropping those million dollar words, it's tough to sort it all out unless you make it your effort to sort of parse it. Yeah, parsing. Did you ever do that in school? We used to have to do that when we were learning language, even in um, elementary school. Back in the day, grammar was important and you needed to know how to parse. You needed to know how to break sentences apart into its constituent parts, a subject and a predicate. And we use that word predicate to mean something that is the foundation of a thought, the predicate. This thought is predicated on, that means it's based on, it's developed from this claim. So you always look for the subject and the predicate. There's a whole bunch of claims of predicates in Peterson's talk, but I'm not sure that he understands linguistically what that all means. He's a psychologist and a clinical psychologist at that. That means he's supposed to be helping people. I'm not sure that you can claim to help people when you make claims that are, I'm going to say, cringeworthy. Definitely fringe-worthy. And I use that with complete understanding of fringe meaning a minority of people at the very frayed edges of a volatile society. And I think Peterson represents that very well. I've also followed Peterson for a number of years. I even purchased a book. I was going to say two, but I think it's just one. And uh, you have to check it out for your source, for yourself. Consider the source. So you have to read the guy. Don't want to just poo-poo him out of the gate. But he's saying stuff that doesn't make any sense. And that's when you have to say, well, Jordan Peterson, stick to your lane. Hmm, is that a phrase? We tend to want to line up and say things behind people who we think are generally smart. Therefore, everything they say is worthwhile. That's a fallacy. And you need to be able to consider the source and the credentials. How qualified are you, Mr. Peterson? How qualified am I? Well, he's got his PhD. I don't. But his PhD is in clinical psychology. I would like to say that my three undergraduates degrees stack up to his PhD, but you know, that's an undergraduate compared to a postdoc. Yeah, I can't do that, but I can say I've had a lengthy career reading and doing research too. Um, so let's put it where it is that you got to consider the source. Who's speaking knowledgeably? Well, I don't think Peterson is. And that talk on climate change with Joe Rogan began on slippery slope and his foot on the banana peel became more evidenced as it went along. So saying stuff about which you know very little but you claim to know is a problem. We have gurus. I'll use that word because that was in a podcast I listened to. Uh, the claim to be a shill for a perspective is not a good thing when the term guru becomes used as a pseudonym for fundraiser or support me or look at me and there is no uh, nothing there it's like smoke and mirrors the Dorothy pulling back the curtain behind the Wizard of Oz and when Toto goes behind the curtain yeah I think we need to do that more often pull the curtain aside and take a look at who's claiming to be a leader and what are their qualifications and what are they saying don't just swallow it holus bolus that holus bolus is a term that refers to the way we chew our food and we form it using our tongue and our teeth to move it from side to side until it's in a ball that we can swallow smoothly down our throats well i find very little to swallow easily from jordan peterson joe rogan and some of these of their ilk Opinion is a specialty. Science and fact doesn't seem to be one of those specialties. All right, that, that's where I was going with JP, spokesperson for the disenfranchised on the right. Maybe white males, maybe males, maybe younger males, but definitely not females. And uh, yeah, he doesn't speak to all people, but maybe that's okay. And somebody gets something out of it, good for them. Not me. Another thing I'd like to say is that, uh, going back to the Conservative Party of Canada, is the number of leaders. From Harper on, I think there were seven different leaders of the Conservative Party of Canada from 2015 to 2022, with 
Polyev being the most recent, seven in seven years. Liberals, one leader, nearly eight years. Maybe another repeat in the com coming election. Coming election, did I say that? Well, there's your chance. Vote, get out and vote, and make that vote proportional. The Jim and Terry Show. Bye-bye for now.